Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to see how to create the sign language for alphabet with the help of TensorFlow Light custom object detection. Okay. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. Friends first I just want to show you the demo. Okay. So here it is as you can see this is what the sign language a to z okay you can create all signs for all alphabets okay so i have created here a b c and d okay with the help of tensor light custom object detection i have already created the video how you can create your own custom model okay same steps which you want to follow for creating the the sign language for alphabet same steps friends okay so let me first show you the demo okay then I just want to uh, show you what basically I have add one more steps in uh, in this particular project. Okay, so let's just first uh, see uh, how it's work. Okay, so I'm going to minimize the browser, and this is what our folder TensorFlow Bullseye examples, light examples, object detection, and inside that we have our Raspberry Pi folder. Then our command uh, which is sudo python3 then detect. Uh, detect dot pi and hyphen hyphen then model then we need to mention our model which is the android which is the android dot t of light okay simply hit enter i have connect my raspberry pi 4 camera module with raspberry pi 4 okay so as you can see the camera is started okay and now i'm going to show a uh, sign and the tensorflow light custom model will detect the alphabet as i told you i have created here a b c and d okay so let's just watch as you can see it's detected a then b then this is what the c this is what d as you can see it's detected d again a b c and d okay friends as you can see here i have created a uh, 30 images for uh, for single sign okay so as you can see friends we have successfully create our own custom model which basically detect the sign language okay so as i told you same steps but uh, you need to simply uh, download again our uh, github repository okay as you can see this is the same repository tensorflow light custom object but inside this repository i have add one more file which basically create the images okay so test dot pi okay simply go to the code copy then open the browser and i'm going to first uh, move in uh, slash on slash pi then then clear the screen okay now we are inside the slash on slash pi okay and here we are going to first clone our repository which is sudo uh, git clone and paste link and just hit enter it will clone our uh, tensorflow custom object repository then we need to change the owner so sudo ch own space capital r pi pi and the uh, uh, folder name which is tensorflow custom object okay that's it so now what we want to do we want to open tony python editor okay and then inside that as you can see th uh, this is what our file which i have add uh, as a new file which basically capture the images with the help of usb camera or with the help of the raspberry pi 4 camera module okay so now you don't want to uh, use your uh, uh, mobile camera to capture the images simple you can use uh, this script and with the help of this script you can capture the images okay uh, i'm going to show you how you can uh, do this as you can see here i have mentioned the max frames 30 means we are going to create here a four alphabet signs which is the a b c and d so for each sign we are going to create a 30 images okay so how to do this simply for that i have mentioned here a uh, max frames 30 then as you can see i have mentioned the path which is our images path where all these images going to be saved 
So, slash home slash pi slash images ok, I am going to show you as you can see this is what the images folder and inside that as you can see I have already uh, saved the train images ok. So, I am not going to do all these things because I have already shared uh, the video how to do all these things, but I am going to show you how you can capture the images with the help of a uh, new script ok. So, slash home slash pi images this is what our path as you can see I have mentioned here path then a because first I want to create here a 30 images for a. So, it means it will create a dot jpg 30 images ok. So, let me show you what we are going to do we are going to create a new folder uh, let us say yt img this is what our new folder yt img ok. Now, what we are going to do we need to change the images folder because we have now our new folder which is the yt img ok. Then as I told you first we are going to create the a dot 30 images ok. So, now what I am going to do I am going to start the script ok. But uh, remember one thing we need to uh, set our hands like this way ok. Uh, this this uh, sign is for a alphabet ok. So, now what I am going to do I am going to make like this way ok and this is what our Tony editor and let us just make like this way. So, uh, this sign for a so I am going to start here a uh, script and as you can see now we want to simply move our hand it will capture all the images ok. As you can see it is automatic stop the code because it is complete uh, is it completed the 30 images ok. So, if I just a minute if I open our yt emg folder as you can see inside that we have a dot jpg 29 images. So, same thing uh, for the b c and d you need to simply open Tony editor and you need to change this a with the b ok then save code run code and then you need to uh, just check what sign language for the b and you need to simply show the hand just move the hand in front of the camera the raspberry pi 4 will basically capture the frames and it will create the uh, 29 images for b dot jpg and same for the c d ok. So, this is how you need to create the data set for sign language ok. So, as I told you I have already create all these things ok. Then if you if you watch my old video then you definitely know what the next steps you need to simply create the freedom tech folder or you can create any folder then inside that we need to create the train and validate folder. Then the images which we label we need to copy and paste inside that train and inside that validate ok ok. So, I have already done all these things then simple we need to open the google collab ok and then we need to simply uh, load our uh, uh, notebook ok. So, upload notebook choose file and inside that inside that folder which we clone tensorflow like custom object inside that we have our a file as you can see simply click on open and as you can see we have successfully load our notebook ok. So, friends now I am just going to scroll down here because I am not going to uh, show all these steps because I have already shared with you all these steps ok. So, main thing is what just scroll down and where we uh, where we mention our class ok just scroll down. So, meanwhile we need to simply uh, zip our uh, folder the freedom tech folder and we need to upload our uh, zip file on our google drive ok. If you watch my old video you know all these things ok. So, this is what the main steps as you can see I have mentioned here we need to mention here basically the label names ok. So, here we need to mention the label names uh, like this way ok. So, first a ok then we need to mention the b then we are going to mention 
C, okay? Then we are going to mention a D, okay? As you can see, A, B, C, and D, same. Just remove the space like this way. A, B, and C, D. We need to create just a list. A, B, C, D, and same thing for here for validate folder, okay? So we need to mention like this way a then b then c and then d that's it a b c d here it is the space we need to simply remove the space okay so a b c d a b c d this is what our labels okay so this is how you need to mention the list of uh, our labels a b c d uh, for train a b c d for validate then all the same steps which we follow uh, for creating our own custom uh, model for tensorflow lite same steps okay so friends uh, this is how you can create your own custom model uh, which basically detect the sign language for alphabet. I have shown you the demo, then I have uh, already uh, show you how you can use the test t.py script for capturing the images with the help of your USB cam, also with the help of the Raspberry Pi 4 camera module. Okay, I hope you also create your own custom model which detect the sign language. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you, check your end. Bye bye.